What's happening guys? Mike here from Hammer Fitness again. Look, today's topic, I want to talk to you about the longevity of your training and whether or not it's with a PT or not. Uh, and that's the main topic I'm going to be covering and whether or not you should continue with your personal trainer or coach, whoever it is, and what you should be looking out for. Now, everyone actually wants to I think everyone wants to be fit and healthy. They want to look good, they want to feel good, and they want to be the best versions of themselves, or at least I hope you do. Now, sometimes that may require a little bit of assistance, uh, call it ignorance or something else, but sometimes you just want to get it done yourself. Look, I've been there myself many of times. Um, I do my own research, do this and do that, and I, like this is when I started training, I just went, straight in not know what i was doing threw myself in the deep end just started lifting started eating didn't know what i was doing as you do um and it's like one way to approach it but the downside of that is if your expectations are high with what you're actually doing uh so pretty much like the perception of your reality of what your outcome is going to be through what you're doing through what you think is right only to be let down that really sucks and i've been there myself as well so that's where it may take either a lot more research and in today's society and internet and everything there's so much contradictory stuff so that's where it may require you to go look for a coach or a personal trainer of some sort to just help you out help you push you along the road now i think Everyone should be looking for a specific type of coach or PT. This coach, okay, this coach is not only going to push you, all right, this is the right kind of coach. They're not only gonna push you, but they're going to teach you along the way. This is the most crucial part, okay? If you don't learn off this teacher or coach or PT, whoever it is, how are you going to sustain? what you're doing or what you're trying to achieve with that person in the first place okay the main objective should be your learning now I'm sure you're gonna learn a lot of things because you're gonna get taught or should get taught the right form the right technique but whether or not they're teaching you the mindset the nutrition everything else alongside coming or that makes you a fit and healthy person that develops your fit and healthy lifestyle Okay, if those aspects do not come into play with your personal trainer or coach, I think you have the wrong person. Because at the end of the day, who's going to see a coach for the rest of their life? Unless they're an absolute high-end athlete and they just wanna keep getting pushed, fair enough, okay? Um, but you must be looking for this coach that is teaching you continuously. All right, you hear about it all the time. Sometimes you start with one coach and you may go to another because let's face it, you may outgrow that person. And if you wanna keep developing yourself, all right, um, the coach isn't gonna take it uh, in a bad way. They know that you've pretty much made it with what you've taught them. All right, so maybe that coach needs to learn a little more or whatever it is, Hopefully the coach should be learning along the way too. So whatever they're learning, uh, they should be teaching on as well. And that is exactly what I do with all my clients and members. I'm continuously learning. I'm continuously teaching. And it's quite weird because sometimes people ask me for multiple sessions in the week, like heaps of sessions, like three, four, five times in the week. I'm like, hold up. That's good and all. One, I don't have the time. <laughs> as bad as that sounds, but two, I'd actually like you to do less with me because I think you're going to get more out of it by going in, doing it yourself. So maybe let's start off with one or two. I'm going to teach you as much as I can. I'm going to value pack the crap out of those two sessions. And I'm going to tell you what to do by yourself because in those instances when you're by yourself, all right, and you're pretty much not relying on someone. That is when you learn and develop the most, okay? And that's what I've found in the past as well. Every now and again, I'll go in for a coach or a teaching session or a personal training session, whatever it is, take in as much as I can, go utilize it. And again, go do that, go utilize it. All right, if you're continuously getting battered, sometimes you can pretty much rely on that person 
And if they're a bad coach or PT and they're not teaching you crap, what are you actually going in there for? Someone just to hold your hand as you do the workout? No. All right, that's bullshit. That is a waste of time and money. All right, you should be getting something out of every single session. This is the coach and PT you got to be looking out for, all right, guys? So, like I said, at the end of the day, you're not going to be sitting with a PT or coach or the same one at least uh, for the rest of your life. And this is obviously if you don't want to go like high-end athlete kind of stuff. If you literally just want to achieve the body of your dreams uh, or at least make your way there or you just want to feel and think and do better, uh, just the general aspect just learn as much as you can curiosity is king i say this time and time again but make sure you have the right coach to push you in the right direction tell you what you need to learn even um, and go with the flow all right so learn as much as you can implement absolutely everything you learn push yourself in the gym use that coach for assistance but make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck all right Hope that helps, guys. Hit me up with any messages or questions. Make sure to like the Facebook page and even jump across to our YouTube channel. Give that a subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace for now.